Hi, this is Dean Huppert, and you're watching the Mishawaka Education Foundation Halftime Report. I'm pleased to be here with our director of the band, Dennis Gamble. Talk about the exciting things that are happening. I know you just had a big concert this week, and, and that's just the beginning. Oh, everything is going great this year. Uh, we uh, took the band to a contest oh, maybe a month or so ago, got a solid gold rating. Uh, three judges unanimously liked us. Um, we're always looking for new opportunities to get out and play in the, in the community. Uh, the football games are going spectacular. Uh, we are so happy with our numbers. Uh, we have middle school kids coming up in abundance. We have, uh, well, uh, Caleb Chamberlain and I see uh, about 400 kids a day. Just incredible. And we, um, uh, looking at the middle school, we don't, we don't even have time to, to turn around and breathe. It's, it's, wonder, it's, a, it's a really good problem to have. When you talk about that, and, and obviously this is going at halftime of the football game, the excitement that that creates for your kids, the energy of a Friday night, uh, it's not just going out for the football game at halftime and pregame, but you have a pregame show on the steps, and you also, the entrance is a great tradition that Mishawaka has. Yeah, um, we are all about tradition. There are some traditions here. Um, the first school I worked at, uh, you know, 35 years ago, uh, we didn't have very many traditions. But when I, I, I got the opportunity to come to Mishawaka, it was just so exciting. There are so many new things we're allowed to do. Uh, there are so many community outreaches. Um, one of my favorite things about this community by far is the alumni. I just love the alumni. Uh, give a little shout out to my mother. My mother is a member of the class of 1952 from Mishawaka no High School. Kidding. And when I got this job, she was thrilled. And uh, she was telling me about the traditions back in the 1950s and the 1960s here. And this is a spectacular place to be. You guys do such an amazing job working with the alumni, working with the cheerleaders, with athletics. Uh, I know you're pulled in a lot of different directions. The pride that you have just in Mishawaka and representing when those kids put the uniform on, we talk about it in athletics. When you put Mishawaka on your chest, yeah. there's a sense of responsibility there. You must have that same sense of responsibility. Oh, it's almost a different demeanor. We put these uniforms on and all of a sudden, uh, you know, the kids are a little squirrely, you know, you know kids are kids. Um, but we get the uniform on and all of a sudden it's I'm at attention, I'm ready to kick it. Right. And we're really, really proud of them. And in the summer, uh, we see you guys out there and working in the heat and that preparation that those kids put in at that time, I know it's very difficult, but how does that play into the regular season and to know that, okay, when contest season comes, these guys have not just started this in August and September, they've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Well, uh, that working together over the summer just builds so many relationships. Um, they become friends, they become allies, they become critics of each other, uh, and they work together so hard and they sweat together, and um, after that's all over, they realize, you know, hey, I, I'm putting something in here, and now I get to see the outcome. Yeah. Talk about your background and just your love for music. Where did that come from? Uh, was your mother part of that? Oh, my, of course. My mother, was, my mother played the violin and sang in the choir here back in the 1950s. Um, me, I started playing the trumpet when I was 10 years old. I decided right away I was going to be a band director from that moment. So I've wanted to be a band director for 50 year, odd years. <laughs> and uh, you know, I played, I went to South Bend Riley. I played all the way through. Uh, I ended up in I, IU Bloomington and spent six years down there getting a master's degree. And uh, I've been doing this for 35 years and I, there's nothing in the world else I could do. It's just a spectacular thing to do. I'm also on the faculty at IU South Bend and um, you know, I'm teaching um, uh, teaching undergraduates now how to do this, which is really exciting. Yeah, that's I was going to bring that up. Uh, people may see you as a middle school band director, they may see you as a high school band director, but a college professor, and just the expertise that you bring, the love for this music, the love for band, uh, where it's taken you, it, it's been quite a ride for you, and, and there's still so many more things to come. Yeah, well, I, I teach four classes at IUSB, which makes me a 60% college professor, um, but th that's not really even work. That's just that's just fun. That's yeah. that's just getting out and just talking about all the wonderful experiences I've had in 35 years. Yeah. When you think about our band and what's what's coming up, I know we're in the middle of contest season, and there are things that you guys prepare for. And it's not just Friday nights, but there's some Saturday mornings, Saturday afternoons that are very very important. Oh yeah, we uh, we we have a, a, an active jazz ensemble, and we took them to the South Bend Jazz Festival last weekend. Uh, we had them play at the IUSB Jazz Festival uh, a month or so ago. Uh, they're playing uh, this Thursday night at a local music store, at Quinlan and Fabish Music Store. Um, the concert band season is ramping up, you know, with the, the, the football season kind of ramping down. We're, we're putting together two big concert bands. Looking forward to a big concert in December. So. 
And finally, just when you think about parents and kids that may be interested in band, they're not sure if they want to do that in seventh or eighth grade, but uh, they, they want to know how. Uh, how would they do that? Do they talk to people at John Young Middle School, and are there obstacles that they can overcome that maybe they have questions saying, oh, I don't know if I could ever do that? Yeah. Well, the first thing I want to say is that um, the, one of the most prevalent questions I get is, if I'm in sports, can I do music? And oh my goodness, the, absolutely yes, we encourage. I love having football players in the band. Now, we don't, obviously we don't make a march during halftime. You know, and and, right. and that, that's, that's obvious, but as long as they're serving Mishawaka High School, uh, they are part of our family. And that's part of the, the philosophy that we have in athletics also, is work together with music, with the arts, and if a kid wants to be involved in Mishawaka, they have that opportunity. Absolutely correct. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. This has been Dennis Gamble, and you've been watching the Mishawaka Education Foundation Halftime Report.